Welcome to today's video. I'm gonna be going over how to find winning e-commerce products. And I know a lot of people right now are using outside softwares, they're using certain companies or doing JVs with companies to get really high converting e-com products. And my biggest philosophy about this is, there's a couple ways you could do it, but I'm gonna only go over one today. And um, this is one that I've always used um, to find winning products. And it's actually very, very simple. And it just takes a lot of research. You know, you're gonna go through a lot of duds because a lot of them get too saturated. So just hear me out here. So what we do is I always go to TikTok and I always do the key, like the hashtags of TikTok made me buy it, you know, um, trending products, stuff like that. And I try to find the videos with the most amount of views. And, and then I will see how many people are trying to run that offer. So what you could do is you could actually go to the TikTok like ad library now and you can search that niche. So for example, if I go to the you know TikTok ad library and I search like hair oil, I can see all the companies running hair oil. I can see their landing pages. I can see their creatives. I can see how many likes and comments. I can see the strength of their ad. I can see all the clicks. I can see how long they've been running the ad, how much was spent. I can see so much data that now I can make an informed decision of like, hey, you know, people aren't spending a crazy amount on this. And if I brand it correctly, people will buy it. And that's the angle then afterwards, which is, hey, now that I found something that's like, you know, pretty trendy, that solves a massive problem, there's a big enough of a marketplace for it. Um, it's not just some like one hit wonder trend. Um, it's something that can be used every single day, no matter rain or shine, you know. Um, and that's why I did hair oil, because people are always gonna be losing their hair. A recession is about to hit. People are about to get more stressful than ever and start losing hair. So it's like, and honestly, bath products, shampoo, conditioner are getting worse. There's more chemicals and shit that's making their hair fall out. There's just way too many factors that pull towards people are losing their fucking hair. Like that's just common sense to me. Um, so that's why I did that. Also, I saw all of the people who were coming into my ecosystem as clients selling it. I was like, shit, like this is a really good product space to be in. You know, it's not like skincare. I'm not really a big fan of skincare, um, but it's something that I saw and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take this opportunity and I'm gonna do it. And the other, you know, part of the game is like, once you start seeing these videos, that are getting a lot of views, getting a lot of comments, you take that video creative and you go do your own. You reverse engineer, you get inspiration from all these different videos, you take one good part from each and you see what is converting better and then you just simply optimize what's working. And then you see, you can see the landing pages, you can take winning behaviors from each landing page. You can see what you like from each, you can see the pricing models. Are they pushing bundles? You know, where do they put the testimonials? Do they have a pay over time option? Which one is it? How fast is their checkout process? All these things that you need to analyze and then you can really capitalize on a winning e-com product. And it's not hard for you to say, well, you know, now I found this product, what do I do? You find it, you save it, you take the video and you go to Fiverr and you get somebody to make videos like it or you go hire a videographer, ship the product to yourself, find it from a supplier, from Orberlo, AliExpress, wherever that product can be you get it private labeled, like there's a process behind it, but you can really make the thing work. And then from there, now you're just doing the, the, the website, the landing page and the creatives. And then you get your ad platforms ready, you run traffic to it. That's literally all you have to worry about. Or you can outsource those things. You could white label it to somebody else. You could hire a contract to do it for you. But as far as just finding those winning e-com products, you don't wanna find something that like, for example, right, you see eight videos and they have a million views each and they get all these likes. It's, it's gonna get too saturated, but you gotta see how the longevity of the ads have been going on. Maybe that company just poured, you know, 25, 30 grand a day into their ad spend for a week, and that's why all the people have views. Or, you know, you see that the ad's been running for seven months, and you're thinking, seven months, they've been running this ad, it's gotta be fucking working. I mean, you use common sense, okay? Um, and that's really where you should be getting your inspiration from, or things that have longevity that work, but aren't massively saturated. So. Um, you know, and obviously finding out if somebody can supply it for you. So you, you know, make that list of products, you find which ones and you go to suppliers, hey, I found this one, this one, which one can you guys supply to me? And that's, that's the game. That's logistics. Those are new skills that you need to learn as a business owner. So it's not always about just finding the winning product. Now, where do you get it? So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and like and comment, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.